Hello everyone and welcome back to the Geektastic series. I had a huge debate with myself and I mulled over it for about an hour as to what category I would put this particular video under. Today we're going to talk about Twitter, which is a social networking site that has basically caught on like wildfire. Everyone's using it and you know what? Until about a week ago I had no idea what it was and I still am not very good at it. But I wanted to go over it real quick with you guys so you could take a look at it. And I have to say it's pretty geek-tastic, um, mostly because of its addictive nature and its complete and utter uniqueness. It is a very unique idea and it was very well executed. So well executed, in fact, that I do believe it is the number one social network site by far at the moment. So when you go to www.twitter.com, you have right here on the right-hand side, sign up now. They have a really, really easy sign-up system. You just basically put in your email and a username you want and a password. They'll send you a verification email and you'll accept it, and then you'll be all signed up. Let me go ahead and sign in so I can show you the user interface. For those of you who have worked with any status update system, you'll know that the what are you doing is basically like a status update. You know, during the day you update, you know, what you're doing at your computer, what kind of work you're working on. You can post videos, you can post uh, links to pictures, you can post all kinds of interesting things that you might, might be doing. You know, what's the big deal with that? Yeah, I didn't understand that either. I was looking at Twitter, I was like, okay, so I can tell people what I'm doing the whole day. That's actually kind of depressing to me sometimes, but you know, I actually sat down and started using it, and I recommend that's what you try to do. And I found out that there's quite a bit more to this than just that. Because based upon what you talk about, people find you, and they follow you, and you have these followers in the upper right-hand corner. So you end up having a lot of people who are interested in the same subjects as you starting to follow you. So it's actually an amazing social networking tool. So how did they find me? I started asking myself. Well, you have the search bar over here on the right-hand corner. So before I do any tweets, I'm going to go over here to search bar and show you this real quick, which I think this is probably the most addictive part of the actual Twitter software. I can search for all the su any subject that interests me. Say I can type in computer tutorials. Instantly, I am given an entire list of people who have talked about in the past, you know, 24 hours about computer tutorials. Look, I'm actually on the list. But see, this isn't a really popular topic, so the last time somebody mentioned both of those words together was about an hour ago. So let me search for something way more vague in general, such as the economy. And here we have now all of a sudden half a minute ago, half a minute ago, one minute ago, one minute ago, one minute ago. You can literally see in real time what people are talking about. You know, people are talking about, you know, a lot of these are probably advertising, but it's really fun to see what people are saying and talking about. You find somebody who's interesting or says interesting or smart things. And then the cool thing about that is, is then you can click on their username. And you can start following that person. And what it'll do is on your homepage, everything that that person says will start showing up. Again, what's the big deal with that? I can't really describe it to you. I don't know if it just fuels the ego or if it if it's just, you know, kind of cool because I can also send direct messages to this person. If I go to computer, this person said downloading and uploading at the plus at the same time equals one pissed off computer. I can send that person a direct response like at Clarington LOL because I thought what he said was funny. And and that's the kind of thing you can do. You can literally talk to these people in real time and you can actually make a lot of friends. I know it sounds weird, but you'll actually people will start talking back to you and they'll send you jokes and they'll send, you know, arguments. But that's kind of kind of cool because you can really get to know a lot of people here. And another thing is is other people can find you on this. So when you're talking about things throughout the day, people who are interested in the same subjects, let's say you like Xbox 360, you're typing that, you know, you're talking about Xbox, you're talking about video games, you're talking about computers, you're talking about uh, the economy, motherhood, uh, you name it. You can talk about just about anything and other like-minded people will find you and start following you. And that's really what's addicting about this software is you actually start to develop over time a network of people who have the same common interests. And you get to see what they're saying throughout the day and you get to say things throughout the day. They'll talk about, you know, things that are interesting and and it's really kind of cool. So I recommend everyone give it a shot. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm not going to say this software is going to change your life because it's not. I mean, you know, it's something fun. It's very unique. Uh, their approach to the status update and social networking is extremely smart. It's very simple. Anybody can use it. Uh, it's very straightforward and it's free, you know, and those are all, all the criteria of the Geektastic series, which is why I went ahead and decided to throw it in that category. So if you hate Twitter, that's cool. Um, but there's a lot of people out there who love it and maybe this tool isn't for you. Maybe you won't have a good time with it, but 
you know, let people have their fun. That's all I could say. Have a great day, everyone. I hope this video gave you a little more information on Twitter. One last thing before I go, I do want to tell you, if you go to the help category on the Twitter page, they do have a fantastic video here that tells you how to use Twitter. It goes through all the tools. It tells you how to send direct messages and replies and, and things like that. So I recommend checking that out so you can get to learn to use a little bit. I didn't want to talk about this. I just want to talk about the software in general just to see if you guys would be interested in it. You can go there yourselves and figure it out. And uh, I highly recommend watching it. It's only about four minutes long. And try it. I'm telling you, it's, it's disturbingly addicting. Have a great day.